hey y'all welcome back to the channel thank you for being here on tommy's homestead garden so this is the finished product of my well not finished it's almost finished of my raised bed i put this together myself um i will go back and saw off these parts here that are sticking up because I'm not adding any more wood to it. So I'm gonna saw those off to make it even and flush with the actual board. But y'all go ahead and like this video. Leave me some comments down below. Also subscribe to the channel. And let's get into the video so you can see how I put this together and the finished product because I'm going to add a middle section so it'll be divided. All right, let's get to it. So right here, I'm just trying to figure out what my layout is going to be and how I'm going to do it. I did not ask for my son to come out, but I guess he saw me out there trying to figure it out and he decided he would come and give me a little bit of encouragement because he know I'm about to take that board and throw it and say I quit. I bought a certain amount of boards with this intent on how I want to do a bed like this. That's how I had it in the store, but then I said, well, I can do two beds together. I mean, apart, because I had all those up, and I took a board and did it like that, right? You could do it like this, like I have done right now, and then you can separate it in the middle. That's what I did in the store. Are you listening to Then what was you trying to change it up to? I was trying to change it up to the fact that it could stand by, that this could be a separate board by itself. This one could be a separate board by itself. That was like a little stock that you had got left over. Yeah, it did that. I had fed it some fertilizer. I think it actually started doing that after I put some fish poop in there. Really? Yeah. Fish poop does wonders. Y'all, this is my first time ever doing this. So I was really frustrated. So even though i know i sound like i was frustrated with him i was frustrated with the project itself 
and I'm glad he came out because and then he tried to switch it up and start talking about the cabbage to throw me off but I appreciated him so much
extra part right here I will cut off or hide it <laughs> so this is my first raised bed I only bought enough for one raised bed because I didn't know how it would look or if I would like it um, like I said those pieces that I have in there to brace it up I'm gonna cut those so they're flush to the actual fencing that I'm using for my raised bed and all I did was go to Lowe's and get like one of those fence panels that you can use to replace one of those if they um, broke or fell off or whatever. So that's what I used to make this raised bed. And I didn't have to cut anything, um, but I will have to cut these brace because they were left over from my first raised beds that my husband did. So this is my first actual <laughs> DIY that I did myself. And since I had some more pieces, that's why I decided to use those extra pieces and just square it out. And I will have to cut this piece here because it's too long. If I decide to cut it, it doesn't matter because if I turn it like that, ain't nobody gonna see it. And I see I missed the whole doggone thing right here so I'm gonna fix that real quick and then I'm about to get some cardboard and put in the bottom and put some soil in okay y'all so I had to run back out the Lowe's and get some more boards and I just made this first one right here and it, it was less stressful than the first one I didn't use um, those little wooden pieces as braces because I didn't have any more and I just put it together. I mean, it's a temporary um, raised bed because I will be taking it apart when we move and I will put it back together wherever we move to. <laughs> um, and I'll probably do the same thing for that one too. I'm not leaving it. Um, so now I'm about to put some cardboard in it and get this thing going. Yeah. 
got enough time to sort out all the fights, yeah. to sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. Oh, no. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's Minnie Mouse. That's why I love you the most. I got you. I got you. I got you. I always knew that you were stubborn, but didn't know it'd be so hard. First time washing the stuff. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel.